Hello, what's up everyone? What's going on? Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Tiny11 that is Windows 11 Lite version in your computer without any bootable USB drive. So in the previous video, I have shown you how to install Tiny11 using a bootable USB drive. But in this video, I will show you how to install that particular version of Windows 11 without any bootable USB drive and just creating a partition in your existing hard drive. And you can use this version of Windows 11 with a very low specs computer that has even 2 GB of RAM and there is no requirements of TPM 2.0 or Secure Boot. So let us see how we can do that. Uh, but before starting the video, I would like to mention that this version of Windows 11 have all the necessary Microsoft features like Microsoft Store, Windows Defender and Windows Updates and everything. So let us see how we can do that. Go to your favorite browser uh, and then search Tiny11 Internet Archive and then you will see the archive.org link. So uh, go to the first link. You can see the link. I, I will provide the link in the description box. So. Scroll down and over here at the right side, you can see ISO image. So click on this drop down arrow and then you have to select any version from here. So I will select this one as this one has no system requirement. Just click on this link. The download may take a long time. So you can use internet download manager or any other third party download manager. So just click on this link and the download will start and it may take up to 10 to 15 minutes depending on the internet speed let us wait for the download to be completed so once the download is complete now uh, you can go to download section and you can find this tiny 11 version this is the iso file okay if you go to view then click on show and then file name extension then you can see this is dot iso file so once you are done with that now you have to install another thing that is ecbcd uh, it will it will help us to create the bootloader for our installation so let's see how we can do that Go to the URL bar and then search EasyBCD. Once you do that, you can see this is from Neosmart.net. Just go to this link, scroll down to the bottom, and now you will find uh, this non commercial version. Just click on register, and over here you have to put your name and email address. You can uh, put any name and any email address. It may be fake email address, no problem. It will not prompt for any verification. So uh, just click on download and your download will get started. You can see, just click on start download. And uh, once the download is complete, now you can find this in the download section. Okay, so uh, once all these things are done, now you can uh, right click on the ISO file and then click on mount. Once you click on mount, you can see if you go to this PC, then there is another DVD drive. You can see over here. This is the exact same space of the installation file. Okay, so now uh, you have to select that partition where you need to install the Tiny11. So I'm going to use the volume G. You can see this is uh, completely free. Uh, if you don't have any free um, volume, then you can create another partition. For that, go to the search bar and search here. Create and format hard disk partitions. Okay. Click on that. Now you can see this is the volume G. Uh, okay, uh, we have the complete uh, drive free. You can uh, shrink this drive to create another partition. Just right click on it, click on uh, shrink volume, and now you have to type the partition size. So I'm creating a 10 GB partition. For that, I will I will write uh, this is 10 GB in MB. As you know that 1024 MB is uh, 1 GB, so 10 GB means uh, 10240 MB. So just click on shrink. And now you can see there is an unallocated space over here. So just right click on it and click on new simple volume and then click on next. Click on next again and then give a drive letter. So I will give uh, Y suppose and then click on next. Okay, I will give the name as tiny11 or Windows 11 Lite, whatever you prefer. Like, and now keep this as it is and then click on next, finish. And you will see another drive with, with the name Windows 11 Lite has been created. So if you now open the this PC, then you can see uh, there is another, another drive uh, with the drive letter Y and the name is Windows 11 Lite. So what you need to do is that 
just go to this dvd drive and then select all these files and folders right click on it click on copy and then go to the drive that you have just created so this is the windows 11 lite y drive right click on the blank space and then click on paste so once you have pasted all these things over here uh, it may take a few seconds so let us wait and once you have copied all the files and folders and pasted over here now uh, you don't need to do anything just uh, go to the ezbct application that we have just downloaded uh, so go to downloads and here ezbct just right click on it and click on run as administrator and then give the permission click on next i agree click on next again install the installation will hardly take few seconds so once the installation is complete now you can click on finish it will run the ecbcd application select your language and click on go and click on ok click on ok again and now uh, click on add new entry now you make sure that winpe is selected and then write the name over here so i will write windows 11 light you can write anything it will show in the boot page so just uh, make sure that uh, you can recognize the installation so write something here and then click on this button then go to the drive where you have just copied the things and go to sources and then select this boot.wim file then click on open once you do that now click on this flash button and your job is done you can see windows 11 light added to the boot menu successfully now we can close the window close this also and now you have to restart your computer just click on this restart button you can see uh, this is our new windows installation you have to select the language then time and currency and then keyboard method and then click on next just uh, click on this accept button click on next and now you have to select the partition where you need to uh, install that installation so for that you need to select any drive so this is the rest of the partition this is the 10gb of the partition where we have just created the installation media and this is the drive where we will just install the installation just select this drive and click on format click on ok and now uh, make sure this drive is selected and then click on next let us wait until the installation is complete so this is the windows 11 lite version click on this Now we can proceed with the normal installation methods. Okay, so once the setup is complete, now you can go to that Windows installation. You can see this is the volume where we install the Windows. You can see this is the username. Let's enter the password, and this is the clean Windows installation. You can see there is no bloatware, and there is no unnecessary applications. There is Microsoft Store. And if you go under the settings, you can see the Windows updates are available. We have just downloaded and installed some of the updates. And if you go to privacy and security, you can see Windows security is available. So virus and threat protection is also available. You don't need to worry about that. So, so this was how we can install the Tiny 11. That is the lightest version of Windows 11 without any bloatware and with all the necessary Microsoft features in your computer. And there is no need of any bootable USB drive. You can just create a different partition and use it as an installation media. So thank you for watching the video till the end. Let's meet in another video. Till then, stay safe. Thank you.